do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter excretion and osmoregulation in that we are studying topic what is excretion now excretion could be simply said as removal of waste product which is nitrogenous let's study a little bit more about its mechanism now during the process of digestion all the nutrients are assimilated absorbed and they are transferred to various tissues or organs of your body and the undigested unused waste product is termed as excretory product so basically excretion could be said as separation as well as collection of metabolic waste and their removal outside your body to regulate the composition of your body fluids now this waste could be gaseous as well as nitrogenous waste depending upon the organism present and if this waste is allowed to reside in your system they could mix with your tissues with your blood system and it could be really fatal in long run excretion now excretion is nothing but removal of waste products from your body there are separation as well as collection of metabolic waste now metabolic waste is basically generated whenever the process of anabolism and catabolism takes place that is breaking down as well as releasing of energy or nutrients take place during digestion of food now this metabolic waste and the removal outside of body has to be done in order to keep balance or to regulate the composition of bloody fluids like the lymph blood or even the water levels now this nitrogenous waste basically includes your gaseous waste as well as nitrogenous compounds like nh3 or uric acid or ammonia in certain organisms during metabolism many waste products are formed and which has to be eliminated from the body by excretion process
Now, along with excretion, what kidney does is that it maintains homeostasis. Now, homeostasis could be said as the condition or the environment of totally balanced by controlling and regulating the amount of fluid and the salts that is osmoregulation in simple language I could say. Thus kidney helps in the process of osmoregulation that is making sure that the amount of fluids in your body are totally regulated. Your calcium levels can dip and it may cause wear and tear to the bones but your salt levels sodium, potassium, all of them has to be regulated properly for your bodily function or cellular function. Also the amount of water present in your body. Thus excretory product elimination is done with help of kidney and another part of excretory system. They also make sure that during this elimination of excretory product, the balance of salts, water in your body is thoroughly maintained and no cell in your body is at the total loss or is at the stake of losing this salts which could be very vital or very important for their functions later on. That's the reason kidney try and do the process of ultra filtration before removing the excretory products. So students, in this part of the chapter, we will study what could be the definition of excretion and how does that occur. I hope you are very clear about this concept. Thank you.